the romantic road. This world-famous route begins in Würzburg, whose mighty Marienburg fortress dominates the landscape. The picturesque Baroque city is located on the River Main, with the Chapel of Mary situated in the marketplace. Neumünster Church, the city's first cathedral, and a tower in which justice was dispensed on behalf of the bishops. Balthasar Neumann built this residence, one of the most important castles in Europe. Tauberbischofsheim is one of the oldest cities in the popular Tauber Valley. The Catholic town church contains precious altars and sculptures from previous churches. The Bishop Toad welcomes visitors at the Electoral Mainz Residential Palace, an ensemble of buildings of various construction periods. The romantic old town is full of the atmosphere of bygone times. Rottenburg ob der Tauber is a principal town on the romantic road, in which Germany's Middle Ages have been preserved right up to the present day, as experienced by the countless visitors who come here. The German Jerusalem or the high-built city. Its city gates are fortified and secured by guard and customs houses. The high Gothic main church of St. Jacob gleams with both the 12 messenger altar and the holy blood altar. The old city has a long history and the noble buildings that flank the marketplace form the vibrant center that we see today. The mighty Spittal Bastion forms the eastern fortification of the town. Located above the Tauber Valley, Rottenburg is, not surprisingly, a very popular tourist destination. A picture postcard city. Originally, there was a Frankish royal court at the Vornitz Ford, a settlement developed which later became a fortified town. Patricians, craftsmen, townhouses and the late Gothic St. George Minster are located around the former intersection of trade routes between the Baltic and Italy and Worms and Prague. Since the 12th century, Dingelsbühl has been in the possession of the Stauffer. Friedrich Barbarossa gave it the status of a town and presented it to his son Conrad as a dowry for his bride, Iberenguela of Castile. Harburg is situated more or less in the middle of the Romantic Road. Harburg is one of the best preserved castles in Germany, with six towers and a door system that leads to an inner courtyard. Around which there is the Hunger Tower, parapet walks, Bergfried and the Prince's Building. This medieval town is located on the steep slopes between the Vernitz River and the mighty Castle Hill. Donauwert is the next destination on the Romantic Road. In 877 AD, a bridge was built across the Danube and an intersection of European trade routes was created. At the Reichstag of Augsburg, Emperor Karl IV presented the double eagle coat of arms. And in 1467, 
the city received the Great Liberty Letter of Emperor Friedrich III. Market rights and the mint ensured economic progress and the wealth of its citizens. With the once rich city of the Fugge begins the last third of the Romantic Road. Augsburg was founded in 45 AD as a Roman military camp and included the introduction of Christianity and a bishopric. The town hall's interior is a magnificent example of early Baroque. Due to the trading houses of Fugge and Welser, Augsburg reached its greatest economic success. But it also gave rise to the world's first shantytown. Next to religious power. Set in green fields in the solitude of Bavaria's Alpine countryside is Wies Church. A church within a meadow, a natural idyll, Bavarian Rococo in harmony with nature. Füssen is well worth a visit. Since 1313, both the monastery and town were under the control of the bishops of Augsburg. And since the Middle Ages, Fussen was also an important trading centre, with the Hoyer Schloss, which towers majestically above the old town. In the late 13th century, Duke Ludwig de Severe of Bayern began the construction of the castle. And from Zangt Mang, Irish wandering monk Magnus propagated the Christian faith. Both church and commerce brought distinction to the city. Bavarian King Ludwig II made Fussen into a fairy tale place. With Neuschwanstein Castle, the realization of his amazing world of fantasy. This fairy tale castle was under construction for 17 years and in every way was the idyll of German knighthood. Due to the operas of composer Richard Wagner, Ludwig discovered the delights of the Middle Ages and theatrical artists created for him this fairy tale world with a perfect kitchen. a magnificent bedroom and adjoining private chapel. The throne hall is a splendid room with lateral rows of columns and a gilded apse which is reminiscent of the Hagia Sophia in Istanbul. The wealth of Occidental history, art and culture makes a journey on the romantic road a most fascinating adventure into the past. <laughs>